So I'd like to talk about Gina Carano, the actress who was recently fired from The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian, by the way, is the only reason that I still call myself a Star Wars fan to this day. Um, I have not seen anything cinematically that I've enjoyed as far as Star Wars goes as an intellectual property since uh, George Lucas released the special editions to theaters um, when I was uh, a teenager. Uh, It was back in like 97, I believe, that he did that. Um, I enjoyed uh, those, even though he um, did add a lot of cringy CG. Uh, At least they were still the original films that were good. I know now that there are apologists for the Star Wars prequels. Uh, They disgust me. I know that there are uh, apostles that um, travel the countryside trying to get people to watch the Clone Wars television series. I'm sure it's great, but uh, I am it's not for me. Looks like a bunch of action figures. I'm not really a fan of the style of animation that it uses, and um, I'm just not interested in it. I don't like those characters. I have a sour taste in my mouth about that entire era of the Star Wars universe due to the profound disappointment of the prequels. And I think that uh, people who are trying to reform the prequels are idiots, but that's neither here nor there. The point is The Mandalorian is actually a great show. And Gina Carano, in my opinion is great on that show, or was great on that show, I suppose, now that she has been fired. She played a character called uh, Cara Dune. Might be pronounced Cara. I don't know. The character's name is not really what's important. Um, She was a strong but silent type character. The sort of character that you typically see as um, men, usually see uh, male uh, people, in that sort of role. Um, So it was kind of cool to see someone like uh, Gina Carano really pull off that sort of role. Difficult even for men to pull off, by the way. There's lots of cringy attempts at that sort of character. Uh, The sort of Snake Plissken, uh, man with no name uh, sort of character. Uh, Now, uh, Gina was formerly a... MMA fighter and kickboxer, Uh, her record in both of those sports, quite impressive. She brought that physicality to the role uh, and really delivered a combat style that seemed highly unique for the Star Wars universe that really stood out in a profound way. Uh, She brought a physicality to the character that I think is difficult to rival. I have heard that Disney has plans to recast the character, which I think would be a tremendous mistake. If Disney feels the need to fire her, then they should uh, dispense with that character because I don't think anyone else could do it justice. Um, On top of uh, her impressive fighting abilities, her uh, impressive physicality, and her, her um, in my opinion, terrific acting, at least on that series. I don't know how she'll do in other roles. I think she was good in that particular role. Uh, aside from all that, I think that she is, um, in my book, rather fetching, uh, beautiful, attractive. Uh, she's put on a little weight since her MMA days. That, to me, is not a drawback. I think that she looks... Fabulous. Um, now I don't want to gush over her here, uh, <laughs> so to speak. But, um, you know, I, I do think that, uh, that she looks rather attractive. Um, so that's personal feelings about her, her character, her performance. Now let's talk about the reasons why she was fired. Let's talk about her political views. So I have here some, uh, this is the, the main thing that got her fired, this uh, TikTok that she put out. Jews were beaten in the streets, not by Nazi soldiers, but by their neighbors, even by children, sad face. 
hit, uh, because history is edited, most people today don't realize that to get to a point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government first made their own neighbors hate them simply for being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? So this is conservative victim complex 101. Uh, I did not know it until these stories broke about how Gina was being fired from her role. I did not know that she was a conservative, but she apparently is a rabidly conservative, super pro-MAGA. And this is, of course, I think if you, if you have a brain in your head, you recognize that what is being said here is absolutely ridiculous, comparing the MAGA crowd to Jews in the lead-up to the Holocaust is um, victim complex 101 it's uh victim signaling <laughs> it is uh just a, a a hideous persecution complex belying uh an inability to process reality accurately um and it's pretty gross but um is it really all that different than like how conservatives in general think at this point? No, this is this is conservative ideology 2021, all right? Like, we can sit here all day and say, like, well, she wasn't fired for being conservative. She was fired for anti-Semitism or, or um, uh, conspiracy theories or whatever. But all that stuff is part of conservatism in 2021. Um, so... There's, there's no real, it's a, there's no argument in my mind that she wasn't fired for being conservative. Um, this is what conservatives believe, foolish though it may be. Uh, she also had some other stuff here. This is a uh, anti-mask sentiment she shared back in November. Uh, Democratic government leaders now recommend we all wear blindfolds along with masks so we can't see what's really going on. You get it? Yeah, you know. Uh, very clever political commentary going on there. Uh, here's a tweet that she made uh, back on November 5th, uh, the day that Trump lost re-election. Uh, we need to clean up the election process so we're not left feeling the way we do today. Uh, put laws in place that protect us against voter fraud, investigate every state, film the counting, flush out the fake votes, require ID, make voter fraud end in 2020, fix the system. So just, uh, you know, signal boosting ideas that the election was stolen, that there was uh, some sort of like mass, you know, f a level of fraud going on. Um, that there, you know, that basically Biden's victory over Trump, it was an illegitimate victory. Um, you know, just the worst sort of conspiracy theory nonsense that led, of course, to the uh, storming of the Capitol uh, a number of days later. Um, that, of course, uh, led to <laughs> massive amounts of civil unrest. We're now seeing an impeachment trial unfold uh, due to what happened in, the, in that Capitol siege. Uh, and this is exactly the kind of thinking that led to that happening. Um, so that all being said, this is mainstream conservative ideology at this point. If you're going to fire this woman for that, then yes, you have to admit that she is being fired for being conservative. Uh, now, do I believe that um, she uh, should be fired? No, I don't believe that we should look uh, to celebrities, particularly to actors, as any sort of moral exemplars whose, uh, you know, who we need to agree with. Um, like, I don't care. I was perfectly capable of watching The Mandalorian and enjoying Gina Carano's performance as um, as Cara Dune without this, uh, hey, she's a crazy fucking crazy person in real life. Like, okay, so what? You know, like, 
Um, I enjoy the uh, the animated film Hercules, also put out by Disney. Um, I think that my favorite character in that film is probably Hades, uh, as portrayed by James Woods. Uh, or is it just James Wood? I don't know. But anyway, he is a complete and utter nut job, a psychopath, um, <laughs> loose cannon, conspiracy nut, um, just total off the fucking reservation, off his rocker sort of guy. Uh, it doesn't affect my enjoyment of his performance in that role. I don't think it detracts at all for me. Uh, nor does the fact that I enjoy him in that movie in any way bolster my, the credibility I would give to something he tweets. You know what I mean? Like, I don't look at, uh, to, to an actor, and I don't think many people do at this point. I don't look to actors and think, huh, I, I wonder what, you know, like, if anything, like, we live in an age where people are more dismissive of the opinions of actors and celebrities than they've ever been in history. Like when the actors all cut that, uh, the, that we're going to sing Imagine because we all need to just get together. People were just like not having it. Like no one cares about the opinions of actors. I mean, okay, if, if they happen to be extraordinarily eloquent and uh, thoughtful people, then perhaps you, you, you'll get some traction for them. But it's nothing that's contingent on wow, they're a great actor. I bet that they've got really insightful opinions on political matters. No one thinks that. Um, so I don't, think there's, I don't think that their visibility as actors lends credence to their politics. I don't think that their terrible politics detract from their performances. So I see no purpose other than empty corporate virtue signaling for Disney to fire uh, Gina Carano. And I felt that way in, with pretty much every cancellation that's happened so far. Um, I feel that way about Roseanne Barr. I feel that way about whoever. doesn't matter. I'm pretty much almost unanimously against uh, any of these, these sorts of things happening. But um, this one, it, it really does strike me as just, hey, she's conservative, so we're not, we're not doing that anymore, <laughs> you know? Uh, you can have, po if you're going to have politics, they better be left to center or you're not welcome in the Hollywood system. Now, at least as far as Disney's concerned. Now that's Disney's prerogative. Of course, not every studio has to uh, adhere to that. Disney, of course, has a tremendous monopoly. But, you know, the, 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 the views expressed by, um, by Gina Carano fairly mainstream views at this point. Um, I think is evidenced by the fact that every conservative out there is, is jumping to her defense. Um, these are not fringe viewpoints. These are, not, these are no longer, uh, wow, that's beyond the pale. It's not. This is mainstream conservatism 2021, right? That just is. I think I said 2020 a few times earlier. Whatever, I'm still stuck. Um, uh, so the, I don't really, I don't really see it. I don't really understand how this helps anything. Uh, now, interestingly enough, she has, um, she's land, she's getting a, a a strange landing out of this, which is um, that uh, she is now in the wake of this firing controversy, being signed up to. Um, uh, ben Shapiro's Daily Wire is is now making films. I think they recently released their first film that's sort of uh, run, hide, kill, or <laughs> whatever the fuck it was. Uh, you know, where the, the girl is in the school and there's a school shooting and she runs away, but then she thinks, no, I need to use my badass conservative gun skills to go in and save the day, and I guess she does. Um, I saw the trailer for it. It didn't look half bad. The critics, of course, panned it. I think they probably would have even if it is good, but I haven't seen it, so I can't attest to its quality one way or the other, but the trailer actually looked okay. Uh, and the guy who produced it has produced some pretty good stuff, like Bone Tomahawk, I think, is a pretty solid movie. Um, 
a little little dry for me, but whatever. Uh, there were some cool gore effects in it. He's also done some horror movies uh, like Satanic Panic and stuff. Um, uh, did does some stuff with Fangoria and and, and things of that nature. Um, so a lot of horror shit. Uh, so I think this is kind of uh, interesting that um, Gina is now uh, down with this this Daily Wire film push, trying to create a conservative alternative to Hollywood, I suppose. Uh, you know, and <laughs> there can't even be a project yet, right? It's just like they're just signing her to jump on this headline, to get this headline while the news is hot, uh, trying to make her into a conservative hero, which of course is going to work. Uh, so Carano told... Us today, the Daily Wire is helping make one of my dreams to develop and produce my own film come true. Uh, I cried out and my prayer was answered. I am sending out a direct message of hope to everyone living in fear of cancellation by the totalitarian mob. Uh, I have only just begun using my voice, which is now freer than ever before. And I hope it inspires others to do the same. They can't cancel us if we don't let them. Well, they, they, they can't cancel you if you have enough name recognition for Ben Shapiro to take um, advantage of the situation by instantly signing you to a lucrative uh, movie contract the second that Disney drops you. Um, you know, not, not, not everyone's going to have that sort of golden parachute uh, in the event of their cancellation. Like if someone was fired from their job at Subway for expressing views similar to your own they're not going to get you know a uh, an invitation to go you know become the manager at a fucking Quiznos or something um because <laughs> like hey Quiznos is down with the conservatives fuck it fuck that subway liberal shit um so yeah this is this is not you know results not typical but you know, it, it's not surprising to me to see that as Hollywood discards certain talents because they don't fit a particular mold, uh, these alternative studios are out there trying to scoop them back up. You know, I think that uh, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, where uh, some of these more, like this one was more of a political one, obviously. Um, you know, maybe Roseanne Barr will turn up in this project, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it'll be interesting to see if any of the fucking sex ones get their own movie, you know, like some alt studio out there, indie, indie studio looking for some name recognition is like, we're bringing back Kevin Spacey and it's directed by Brian Singer. It's all the sex perverts. Weinstein is going to, uh, produce it from prison. Uh, Cosby is going to have a cameo over the phone from the prison courtyard. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. Um, Marilyn Manson's going to do the soundtrack. It's going to be badass. Um, <laughs> anyway, I just think it's kind of um, it's kind of strange. I don't really understand what anyone thinks they're accomplishing with these sorts of quote unquote cancellations. I know a lot of people don't even like that term anymore. Uh, there's like this tremendous push to fight back against the idea that cancel culture exists, but I mean. It's kind of just on how you define it. People didn't used to get fired for this kind of crap. I mean, they just didn't. Like, when I was a kid, I never remember anyone getting fired from Hollywood for, you know, having a crazy political opinion. But then again, we weren't all online perpetually back then either. So I don't know. Those are some of my uh, raw thoughts on the matter. Uh, you're free to disagree with me in that little comment section down below. I thank you for doing so. I like being disagreed with. It makes me very happy to see independent thinkers in my audience, so good on you. But if you want to agree, I'm also happy to see that. Or if you want to agree with certain aspects but not others, that's also fine. The important thing is please comment. Let me know what you think. Um, and I'll see you next time with more... Delicious contento.